Hello everyone, today we finally see a glimpse of Yugi and his moveset after being teased for a very long time, or what seems like a very long time, but it's probably only like a few weeks. Uh, but for those of you who have already seen this, you will know that it's a very brief teaser. Um, however, we have quite a bit of juicy Jump Force clips to go over here, take a little deep dive into this. Uh, before I get into the video, this trailer may suggest Yugi will be playable in the beta, I really hope so. The beta starts next weekend from the 12th of October, uh, however I'm more inclined to go with the conservative side and say it will be the TGS build, but anyway, let's get on with it. So here, as we can see, they have also confirmed a new stage in the trailer. Uh, we have the Golden Gate Bridge, which has been uh, fused with the Final Valley, or Valley of the End from Naruto, and the Madara and Hashirama stone statues um, taking front stage here, uh, which looks really awesome. What we can also see is a pileup of cars, which really is hitting on the fact that these worlds have just suddenly appeared and just merged with Earth and you know it's interacted with the environment and the people in this environment which makes it look more alive uh, the, I'm really loving these stages so far, I really love the concept of how it's merging into real world. So here we have a close up of Yugi, so it's definitely Pharaoh only uh, but his dual disc which we saw from the screens is that of Domino City Tournament and, and beyond uh, I'd personally have really liked to see Yugi's dual disc from Dark Side of Dimensions, but hey, maybe it's an alternate costume. So here in this clip we can see Yugi kind of acting out the attacks, similar to how in the anime they would gesture when commanding monsters, which is a really cool, nice touch. Um, and here it looks like the Dark Magician is doing a sort of juggle combo. Pause here as well, it looks like the Swords of Revealing Light are coming down on Freezer. Uh, here you can see the blade and the hilt at the top right here, raining down, and it looks like it's staggering Freezer as well, which is what we like to see, because as we know, swords prevents enemies' attack. Uh, so Freezer shouldn't be able to attack for three turns, but hey. Now in this frame it looks like Yugi is either using the spell card Spell Shattering Arrow, or Anti-Magic Arrows. I'm going to go with Anti-Magic Arrows, just because with Spell Shattering Arrow it's just the one arrow, and Anti-Magic Arrows there's obviously more than one. But if we stop here, we can see Yugi sort of vanishes and kind of teleports um, to his opponent, akin to how other characters do. Whilst this doesn't really fit with the character, it of course fits with the game and would need to be included, um, otherwise he'd be at a severe disadvantage. Uh, but we could also put this down to his Millennium Puzzle, he, he needs to be able to, you know, follow up these attacks, otherwise he's not going to be a very good character. Now here as he's dashing and charging towards his opponent, it looks like he morphs into a beam of light, and at the front end there, it sort of looks like he's morphed into the Millennium Puzzle, but this also sort of looks like how he burst into the end duel of Dark Side of Dimensions. Now here we've got Dark Magician Girl, uh, it, it does appear that his only monster attacks will be Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magician, and Slifer of which we'll get to in a bit, uh, which is fine, uh, these are his main monsters, right, these are the staples of Yu-Gi-Oh, almost, like, they go with his character, if you think of Yugi, you think Dark Magician, Dark Magician, Go and Slifer, um, Beaver Warrior, <laughs> uh, which is fine, as he looks like he uses an array of spell cards to go along with these monsters, so it works, I'd really love to see him use some traps, though, like Magic Cylinder as a counter to kind of uh, return the damage done to that he would have received back to the opponent or mirror force where he just kind of like counters and blocks it and just does like a counter attack or something uh, but we'll see more of his moveset later but it's probably not looking likely now in this frame we can see Dark Magician Girl use an attack which appears to be the spell card Dark Burning attack uh, the reason I say this is because uh, that spell card it looks similar um, the artwork anyway and it can only be used with Dark Magician Girl and now here I think we can all agree that this is the spell card Dark Burning Magic, which is awesome. Uh, for those who don't know, this card can only be used when Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl are in control face up on the field. Here we can see Yugi launches the Freezer crashing into some rock structures. This I assume being the stage transition to another area of the stage. We're all familiar with this by now, all the stages have like stage transitions. So this looks like this is one of them. 
And finally, what looks very much like a synchro card for some reason if we zoom in there, and also only has seven stars. Come on, Spy, get it together. Uh, but it's Slife of the Sky Dragon, which would be his awakening ability, of course. The Summon of Slifer looks so damn awesome. I wonder what the actual attack would look like in-game. And there we go, that, that's, that's it really. That's all the footage we have so far. I can't wait to be able to play as Yugi. I'm still a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm hoping he plays well and he's a fun character to play as. If it looks as good as it plays, then I'm sure that he will. Um, because I want this dude to be my main. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you noticed anything that I didn't, be sure to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and if you could use a catapult turtle to give it a thumbs up as well, thanks.